Hi. So once you have compiled your app and you will get this APK file that you can download. Now APK file is an installer for Android. It does not work for iOS devices like iPhone. Um, so let's say you are an iPhone user. So this, you cannot use this file, APK file, to test it on your iPhone device. Now, don't get confused about app publishing, which is completely different. Uh, you can still publish this app on iPhone or iOS App Store, but for that, you will have to uh, sign up for Apple Developer Program. And once you have signed up, you can still publish your app on Apple App Store. So app publishing is completely different thing which you can still do. Right now we are only talking about testing the app before publishing to the app store. So once you have this file, you can of course download it, install it on your Android device and test it. But let's say you are an iPhone user. So in that case, uh, if you do not have an Android device, this file is not going to work for iPhone. So I'm going to show you how you could still test this um, even when you do not have a real physical Android device. So first let's download this APK file. So I will just download this and it would save on my computer. And now I will go to AWS. Now, of course, you need to sign up. And in fact, AWS provides uh, lots of free minutes of testing on mobile device. So you can test this even without uh, making an actual payment because uh, the amount of free testing it provides, that is more than enough for a general app testing. So log into AWS and go to a service called device farm and here you can have uh, you can access physical devices android devices and you can test uh, your app on there so let's create a new project and we'll just call it just give it a name and let's create it so we have the project and then we just want to remote access a real device. So I go to remote access. I would like to start a new session or let's say create a remote access session. And here it would show me all the available devices. So I'll just check this only show me the available devices and I will just pick any Android devices. Uh, so let's choose a device here. I would simply go with maybe the first one. And below there should be an option to start. So confirm and start session. So now you will actually access a real Android device online and then you can install your app on that device and just use it. Now, of course, it is always recommended that you test this app on your physical real device so that you could actually feel it and have the best experience. But, you know, when you do not have a device and you do not want to buy a device just for testing, then this is a workaround here. So it will just take a minute or so. So it looks like we have it now. So this is the real device that we are accessing here. And now uh, it does not have any application installed. So let's install that application. So I'll just choose a file uh, and I'll choose the file that I downloaded, which is this file. And it will just upload that app on this device. And it will do the installation in the background. And when installed, we'll see it here. So we have uploaded it and now we can install it here. So 
uh, successfully uploaded the app may take several moments to install so once that app is installed we'll see that app here and then we can just use it right here and uh, see uh, how it's going to look so this is the one uh, that we just installed because i recognize that app icon so this is the one this folium so it's installed and now i can simply click on that and the app will load so this is actually you are accessing a real android device remotely thanks to aws and device form so now you can test the app that you create online even if you do not have a real uh, physical android device and I'm just operating it with my mouse and it will work just fine. So yeah, this is how you could test your app on an Android device uh, remotely online if you do not ha happen to have a physical Android device of your own. Thank you.